Hi, I'm Eric Most of Most Insurance, and we're asked all the time, um, do, we, do I really need an umbrella policy? Um, let's back up a little bit. Most people don't really understand what an umbrella policy is to begin with. So let me explain that for you. Um, an umbrella policy is kind of like what it sounds like. It is an umbrella that goes over all the rest of your policies that, that provide excess or extra liability insurance. That's the main focus. Uh, the neat thing about umbrella insurance is, is you can also have it provide excess uninsured motorists on the auto side. Um, on auto, on, um, on boat, actually insurance as well. And so, uh, yes, I think you should have it. Um, it's very important. In fact, I won't drive uh, if I didn't have an active umbrella policy. To me, it's that important. It's going to protect you for um, if you have a home and you have, let's say you have kids and, and you have their friends over and one of them might get injured, right? It happens all the time. Um, this is going to provide excess liability insurance for you. I know that you might say, well, my friend's um, kids, you know, they're, my, my kid's friend's parents, they're not going to sue me. But the reality is, is it happens. And, and for only a couple dollars a day, um, in fact, maybe even just a dollar a day, you can be protected from something like that happening. Do you have a swimming pool in your backyard or, or, a, or a trampoline? Um, man, those are extra, extra reasons why you might need an umbrella. We, in fact, had a claim one time for one of our customers that a neighbor had jumped on their ATV, was running in the backyard, and, accident, and, and almost cut off their head because they hit the clothesline. They then sued the owner of the ATV, uh, even though they weren't given permission for using it. Umbrella policy provided extra liability coverage for them. And here's the neat thing about an umbrella policy. It provides legal defense outside of the amount of insurance. And so you've got, let's say you get an umbrella at a at million dollars. You're going to have your defense cost for a lawyer outside of that being covered. So that we're going to pay, the umbrella is going to pay for your defense without, you know, on top of that, that limit. So it's a very, very good thing to have. On the auto side, like I said, it, to me, why I won't drive with it is because you can have excess uninsured motorists. So if somebody hits you who doesn't have insurance or enough insurance, it's going to provide that excess uh, uninsured motorist, which is the protection for, for you medically if you're hurt or you're out of work because of that injury. You can actually even make a claim against your own insurance for pain and suffering. Say you were a triathlete like, like I am, and, and you got in an accident, you can no longer uh, do uh, triathlons. You literally can make a claim against your policy because of that pain and suffering. So it's a very, very important coverage to have, um, a different policy. And like I said, it's only a couple dollars a day. Um, umbrellas come in one and two million dollar limits very, very easily, but they go up to five, ten, or even a hundred million dollars, depending on what your need is. Um, I do heavily suggest it. Again, I wouldn't even get in a car with, without having that coverage. Uh, so I really think you should talk to an independent agent, uh, like most insurance, about getting an umbrella policy. Have a wonderful day, and be safe out there.